So let's go over that sales formula. C plus N plus F plus B equals V. Well, I think we've already discussed what V is, value. But have we discussed how important value is? If you don't see value in something, are you going to buy it? Think of every purchase decision you've ever made in your life and it's had value to it. You may say to me, but uh, what about a gift? Well, the gift that you bought was because you see value in the person that you bought it from. Your customers are no different than you. You have to build value. So C is connection. Because without connection, you're not going to be able to build value. Without connection, no one's going to listen to you. Without connection, all your recommendation, all of the things that you know about this product are going to fall on deaf ears because this customer isn't going to listen to you. We now know how important it is to make a friend. So we got to get through the rest of the sales process. Well, we have to get to N, we have to get to F, and we have to get to B. We have to find these other pieces to build value. But what we're going to discuss right now won't happen if you don't use it. You won't be able to build the value equation if you don't control the call. It's a battle. Your customers are going to call up and they're going to want to take control of this phone call. And you, you want to control a phone call. Here's a simple tool, a trick or tip here. Whoever asks the questions controls the call. If your customer's asking all the questions, then your customer's controlling the phone call. If you're asking the questions, you're controlling the phone call. Well, we set you up for success. Every script that you get in the greeting, you start off by asking the customer a question. And the simple question is your name. But what happens is you pause or you stop talking and the customer will take control. Remember, we just got to start, start we got to stop talking. They started talking about connection, correct? And in the connection phase, I told you to ask the customer questions. Where they're calling from, sports teams, how long they've lived in a location. I asked you to get the customer involved in the call. But remember what I said, whoever asks the questions controls the phone call. Who's asking the questions right there? You're asking the questions. You're asking location. You're asking name. You're asking how's the weather. These are all questions that you're asking and you need to keep following up with questions. As long as you're asking the questions, you control the phone call. Now the most common question you're going to get from many of our products because they're soft offer products where they don't know the price will be how much is it? And it's going to come. Be prepared to handle that. Now what you're not going to do is give out the price. When the customer asks how much is it, you give out the price, what you're going to end up with is a short phone call. The customer asks how much is it, this is what I want you to do. And I want you to do this at every single phone call. You're going to acknowledge them. Think about it. If a, someone asks you a question or you ask someone a question and they don't acknowledge you and they just move on and brush you off, how do you feel? Don't brush the customer's question off. They may stop talking, but here's what's happening. They're not listening. So what I want you to do is when the customer asks for the price, you're going to say, that's a great question. And then you're going to follow it directly up with, I can help you with that. I just acknowledged the question. That's a great question. Then I'm giving the customer hope that I'm going to be able to help them out with their query, which is how much is it? How do you need to control the phone call? Whoever asks the questions controls the phone call. So the customer just asked the price question. I just acknowledged them. That's a great question. I've now given them hope that I'm going to give them the answer to their question. I can help you with that. But now I'm taking control of the phone call. You know, that's a great question. I can help you with that. Is this product for you or for someone else? Oh, it's for you. Is this the first time that you saw the show? Keep following up with questions. See, now the customer's answering my questions. I'm not answering theirs. This works. Whoever asks the questions controls the phone call. Now, 
What happens to a customer who continually asks questions? Well, here's what you're going to do. You're going to follow it up again. You know what? That's a great question. I can definitely help you with that. Can I get your zip code so I can see what prices are, are in, your, in your area? Can I get your zip code so I can see what specials we have? Oh, you live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I've never been to Milwaukee. How long have you lived there? Take control of the call. Now, if your customer keeps insisting on price, there's a point where you can't keep on redirecting away from that price. So what do you do? Well, as instructed, as you just saw, you're going to go right into your presentation. Start in the middle of the presentation because you're going to cushion that presentation. Before you give the price, you're going to give a feature of the offer, a benefit, a feature, and then the price. Now, if the customer hangs up the phone after you've done that, it's okay. You did your job. But if the customer's still on the phone, that means they're what? They're interested. Let's see if you guys have been paying attention and listening. So what happens if the customer stays on the phone and they start asking you questions? Do you start answering their questions or do you start asking them questions? You're going to notice something in the sales process. Questions, questions, questions. A great salesperson's asking questions. A great salesperson they're asking the right questions. So we're going to stay in control. And now we're going to find out why our customer called. Call control is so important. Think about it this way. The more calls you can take in an hour, the more sales you could potentially make. And the more sales you could potentially make, the more money that's going to be on your paycheck. Don't let the customer control you. You control them. Is it rude? Absolutely not. Because you're going to have a smile on your face. Because your energy levels are up. Because you took the time and are taking the time to get to know your customer. There's nothing rude about this at all. Because eventually, the customer is going to get the questions that they want. They just don't realize that we have a script in front of us that's giving them that information. So without call control, we can't build this equation. Because without call control, we can't get to the next step, which is in.